It's Susan here, back in the craft room, and thanks for joining me. Let's take things up from where we left things off last time. So welcome back. And just recapping, in the last episode, I traced all the shapes that make up Peter Rabbit's form onto the bonder web. Um, I cut them out and then adhered the bonder web shapes with a hot iron onto the different coloured fabrics associated with the pieces. The next step, which you can see me doing here, is the third step, whereby I'm transferring the guidelines. I'm tracing the design onto tracing paper, which you need to provide yourself, which then will be transferred onto the square blue gingham fabric which allows the correct placement of Peter's body pieces of the applique. As well, it also shows you where you need to embroider the flowers. So I'm going to be pinning the design onto the gingham. I'm lining it up, making sure that the um, lines in the pattern of the material um, are following the top line of my design. I don't want it to be wonky. Okay, so I know this um, tracing paper technique um, probably is the technically correct method or step in applique. I did follow it, but in reflection, a lot of time would have been saved if I used a light box and just placed the pieces directly onto the fabric instead of making it transfer and thus saving lots of time and from my final square having unsightly pencil markings on it. Okay, so I did have trouble with this step here. It didn't, the design didn't seem to transfer onto the gingham fabric. So I've traced Peter Rabbit and the flowers onto my tracing paper, but it just didn't want to trace and transfer onto the gingham. So, I think I might just deviate and do my own little design with flowers. I'll keep Peter Rabbit here, but I think I'll do my own designs. Is there anyone else who had trouble with this transfer process? The instructions were a little bit vague, so let me know how you went about transferring. So I'm ready to iron on my pieces. I'm going to need to remove the backing from the bonder web and then that should just iron on nicely, hopefully. Let's have a look, see if it does it. Oh, and it does too. I can't say I've done um, traditional applique before, so this is a first for me. Okay, so that's um, ironed on there. We started with the body. Now we're going with the tail and the back. Okay, we've got to take our bonder web off. And we're going To iron this on. So we're ironing all of this on in place. I'm going to do the feet next. Iron on the feed. I'm going to do the jacket and peel off the bonder web backing. i 
peeling off the back. There's his head. And we're going to peel off his ear. And there you have him. I'm not very keen on this design here, so I'll probably end up cutting him out and appliquing him on to another panel, which I will then decorate how I'd like to decorate, as opposed to what the book says. But I'm sure my panels are going to look completely different to the ones that they recommend. But, like I said, it's just a guide. I feel like he needs to stand out more on the background. I'm actually thinking of um, cutting him out and making him into his own applique onto a colour which is a bit more vibrant. Um, I'm not too keen on doing the embroidery on either sides. Um, I might um, actually end up either painting them and stitching or possibly another applique. How did I find it? I didn't like following the instructions. That's just me. Until next time. <laughs>